Hey guys, Red Pen Running here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, I wanted to give you guys an update regarding the Gold Shell AL box that I've actually had some remote hash rate for a couple days from Gold Shell themselves, thanks to them. Just wanted to show you guys some numbers here, how much I've mined and stuff. And you know, it actually does work. And uh, yeah, it's been mining to DX pool. Uh, it's off right now because it's mining to someone else. But thanks to Gold Shell, they gave me some good day and a half here. But I have actually a one full day here, uh, which I want to show you guys here. Okay, so we'll talk about that in a second, as well as some other things regarding, I guess, current profitability. But going in line with you know the current price of lithium, how the market's doing, you know, also potentially some new other manufacturers coming out with a lithium ASICs here. I do want to talk about that and uh yeah a potential announcement from bitmain so we'll talk about that and some theoreticals regarding how many uh, al boxes have turned on uh, just recently so before we do all that thank you to cryptominerbros.com for sponsoring today's video if you guys are looking for asic miners go check them out they have the new miner l9 here uh, it does say sold out but i think that's just a placeholder there until it's available they have the alpha pex dg1 plus and of course, the infamous Gold Shell AL box, which in good conscience, you know, just watch the rest of this video. If you guys are deciding to buy one of these, just understand the risks, okay? If you guys are interested though, links down below, use offer code REDPANDA for $50 off. Okay, so let's go through the results from this AL box from Gold Shell to give me, they gave me some hash rate here, okay? And just a disclaimer, I actually do have an AL box coming uh, from Crypto Miner Bros and it is shipping to me. As of right now, I am not home, I'm actually traveling and so I won't be able to open it up until the end of the month, okay? So, but these are shipping out now as of recording, uh, which is April 18th, okay? And so this, coming week probably the next two weeks here you guys are probably going to see a lot of hash rate turn on for a lithium okay which we will talk about later but anyways let's talk about the results that i got from gold shell here from their al box that they gave me remote hash rate to this address is just one of my test lithium addresses here and uh it mined total about 86 lithium which is quite a bit and uh, but anyways the, the main thing here is the 24 hour yield that this thing provided okay so around let's see april 16th we had about 350 giga hash all right and then if we go to the yield part it's about 34.53 alethium so we did the math there roughly 34 point uh, let's do 53 alethium that's about 88 dollars worth as of recording this video alethium has been bleeding essentially since i'd say three dollars and 40 almost three hundred three dollars and fifty cents a good what eight days ago so profitability of the al box was actually more so like around i think 125 130 140 dollars at one point because the lithium uh, price was up at three dollars and 40 cents but here we are today as of recording april 18th that this uh, price of lithium is $2.56. Okay, so you guys understand quite the disparity as, uh, you know, very volatile in terms of the profitability. As uh, everyone knows, crypto mining can be very volatile and lithium is no exception because this is going to be something where these lithium ASICs are pretty much going to increase the network hash rate and difficulty uh, for lithium. Thus, Potentially, depending on the price of a lithium, the profitability could very well go down or up, but depends on the price. But we'll talk about that more later. So yeah, here are the results, guys, from the AL box. I just wanted to show you guys this, that it is real. Uh, it does mine, and uh, it was mining to DX pool, which they did recommend me to use first. So I'm unsure if it is able to mine at, you know, Vipor or Humpool or all these other, you know, lithium mining pools. Uh, so when I get mine, when the end of the month, when I get home, I'll be able to turn it on and do some tests and stuff. And as well, I want to do hash rate giveaways for this AL box. I did promise that on Twitter, on X. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to give away a lot of hash rate for this this thing. Uh, thank you to Crypto Miner Bros again for them for sending me one of these uh, AL boxes. Now, I want to do some theoretical, just quick math here of potentially how many of these AL boxes have connected uh, to DX pool 
dot com. All right. So if I took, um, let's say a good, let's say 17 terahash. Yeah, let's just do 17 terahash. So the AL box is 360 gigahash. And so in terahash, that would be 0.36. Okay. So I bring out the calculator. So 17, we'll do 17 divided by 0.36. All right. So that could be roughly about 47 units. All right. 47 of these AL boxes uh, were currently on DX pool. And you can see actually the hash rate was actually going down and down and down here as time went on. I do know my AL box specifically was shipping out on the 17th or 16th or 17th. So that pretty much does go in line with these things shipping out now. And I mean, I have my UPS tracking number for this thing. So it is shipping now. People are getting these. People have bought these. I know someone who actually bought one and they said it was a business expense for them. Like they were able to depreciate this piece of hardware. They're a miner that has many other mining rigs out there, very low electricity rate. So their income generation is quite quite good for them. And so for them to be able to buy one of these AL boxes was pretty much nothing for them. And so they're taking that risk. Uh, but in a sense, you know, if they're depreciating, you know, this, this miner, which was, you know, $8,000, $11,000 or something crazy, or I think $15,000 at one point, depending on where you pre-ordered it from, people that are running crypto mining as a business are able to depreciate that. So I thought that was a pretty interesting little thing I wanted to talk about with you guys, but I'm not a tax professional or anything like that. I mean, personally, myself, I do depreciate all my hardware, my GPUs, all that kind of stuff as well to help lower, you know, taxes, right? Anyways, going along, guys, we already did kind of like a efficiency update regarding these, uh, you know, all the Alethium hardware that's out there right now, like the AL Box, Osprey E300, K10, Coal Engine P2, Okay, you guys can see the efficiency of these things. It's, you know, the gold shell AL box just destroys everything else, the FPGAs and the GPUs in terms of efficiency. We all know that, right? ASIC mining is a lot more efficient. It's application specific integrated circuits. It's only mining one algorithm. Uh, so that's why it's really efficient, these things, right? And the manufacturing process of these things and the nanometers and the chips and all that stuff. Anyways, IBLink, I haven't heard, you know, the company come out with one of these yet. So stand by though, feels like it's coming soon. Uh, Bitmain, now this is where I wanted to get into this uh, screenshot someone sent me. Bitmain at minor AL3, eight terahash announced. So you can see, I don't know if this is like Photoshopped or something, but it says 2024, six, could be June. AL3, alpha lithium miner, 400 joules per terahash, eight terahash. So I'm assuming that's 0.4. Yeah, that's uh, if I actually, <laughs> which I may have guessed correctly, Okay, I did do a, like a prediction video two weeks ago regarding the AL box and uh, I guess the Bitmain AL1 looks like I got that wrong. So it looks like I'm going to change that to AL3 now. Um, if this is real, mind you, I said 8.2 terahash at 3200 watts. So I'm almost spot on. I'm pretty spot on with my guess here. Anyways, the price <laughs> I'm assuming is going to be pretty high, but really depends on you know, how many gold shell is going to release of these things, right? And uh, we kind of did do a, you know, theoretical ta uh, theoretical math here regarding like, okay, so each unit does 0 0.36 uh, terahash. We times that by like, like 200. What, what, what's not to say gold shell can just make 200 of these, right? That'd be about 72 terahash, all right? So currently the network hash rate for of lithium is about 481. Terahash. So to add on like another two, 200 more units, add on another 72 terahash, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's a pretty big jump in network hash rate. If, if Gold Shell is going to come out with, you know, another 200 of these units, well, what's not to say Gold Shell could come out with 500 of them, right? 0 0.36 times, I don't know, 500 of these units. That's going to be 180 terahash, right? So plus that right now, currently what the network hash rate is, it could be 661. Terahash. What if Gold Shell is going to make, you know, a thousand of these things? 0.36 times a thousand, that's going to be 360 terahash. We could easily double the network. Uh, no, that wouldn't be doubling the network. But you know what I'm saying? If Gold Shell maybe came out with 1,200 of these units, we could double the network. Okay. But here, comes back to this. If Bitmain is going to create one of these, uh, is going to come out with one of these AL3s, it's going to be 
a monster and it's going to raise the network and the difficulty quite high. And so if the price of Alethium doesn't climb or, you know, if Bitmain doesn't manipulate Alethium, uh, the price for, you know, to sell their AL3 or hell, even the Gold Shells AL box. I mean, you know, this is all just speculating. I'm just speculating here. But just to give you guys that on the back of your mind, you know, regarding if anyone wanted to buy uh, one of these uh, Gold Shell uh, AL boxes that, you know, your time to break even or your ROI, whatever your calculation is, it's going to be further and further out. And, you know, it's, it is a big risk. But another thing is this is first batch. I'm not saying it is a good buy or not. Uh, I'm not going to give that um, prediction or anything. I have absolutely no idea, but it is first batch. And we have noticed first batch miners generally getting their money back faster than buying, you know, second batch, third batch, or hell, even the next batch of miners, maybe the Bitmain L3 might be a bad buy. Uh, who knows, right? We, we just don't know, right? It's similar to what happened with Kadena. I hate bringing that up. You know, ever since the KE3s came out, it just wiped off all these other miners off the face of the earth in terms of profitability. Caspa, though, wasn't like that. You know, Caspa's slowly been, you know, a lot of these manufacturers have been, you know, churning out uh, different models, but they've generally been profitable and they're still staying up there. But we don't know how Alethium is going to fare uh, in the future. Okay, so this really comes down to uh, if you believe in the project and uh, you believe in further price appreciation then you're going to take that risk and uh, purchase one of these uh, AL boxes. But uh, let me know if you guys are going to go ahead and get one of these. But I mainly just wanted to mainly yeah, show you guys the yield I got from one of these, which is obviously going to be a lot less by the time these come out and uh, the hash rate, you know, start going higher, um, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, you know, in good conscience, I have to really, really talk about, you know, the risks here uh, with you guys. Like I can't, I can't not tell you guys you know what potentially could come and uh how it could affect uh everything by doing some you know theoretical numbers here and understanding the risks and you know as the hash rate rises the profitability could dip right also depending on the price as well okay so anyways guys that's it for the video let me know your guys's thoughts and i will see you all in the next video have a good one peace out oh man the bitcoin having is coming up in like a day, oh man, a day and two days pretty much.